Hey guys, welcome back to my P3D video. We're back into the uh, Qatar 787-8 and we are at Los Angeles. Um, FPS isn't too great as it's not really properly version 4 compatible yet. Um, yeah, but we're here at Los Angeles. That is a very steep uh, <laughs> climb and that started to level off that aircraft. Yeah, so we're at Los Angeles and obviously we are going back to Doha. Now this is a long flight. <laughs> I think this is one of the longest flights done on the channel. Um, PFX calculated 14 hours and 36 minutes. Um, so it's a long flight, like very long flight. This is going to be awesome, and uh, I'm doing some project fly as well. Get some flight time hours going, shall we? Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this flight as well. And uh, Katen's loading on, and baggage and passengers come on soon. Let's go inside the cockpit and we'll set everything up. So we need to reset that. To bring that back to HPA. Uh, that's 1011. Um, now it's in pounds again for some reason. Not sure why. Let's go. In. I don't know if I have to redo this every time or something because it's getting annoying. <laughs> uh, okay, that's all good. Panel state loaded. Awesome. Right, before we do anything, let's go over here onto the dispatch page. And uh, let's get things set up. So, empty weight actually. Wait, that's fine, don't worry. Um, so, if you wait, we want to be at 145. Um, so, if I just load up some passengers and everything. So, 145. Yeah, so actually, not quite heavy on that payload there. And so, if we're trying to balance out the amount of passengers with their cargo, let's say. Um, so 145, there we go, that's pretty much perfect, almost perfect. So we set the payload, and then in the fuel, pretty much go full on these ones. And we're looking for pretty much 100, no not 100, pretty much as maximum as possible. Um, so 76, 74, 71, 68, there. That looks like that's our max fuel possible, but that's not going to be enough, I don't think. Um, so let's close those doors for catering. So what I could do is just bring down the payload on here and just have less people on board. And I can bring this up a bit more. Perfect. So set fuel tank, set payload. Awesome. That's uh, better now. This is the max takeoff weight, which is a problem. Um, max takeoff weight is 227. Um, so, yeah, we got very close to that. Okay, so come back over here. We go, uh, actually, go up here, shall we? IRS is flight deck door power. These can come on. And yeah, it's all good. Awesome. In it, Raf. Well, I didn't. Pause in it. So we're at Los Angeles. Catering service complete. Awesome. Uh, we're at gate 103. Uh, that. I don't know where we are. We'll turn it behind the aircraft. Bear with me. 103. Awesome. I'm not sure if it's going to enter it or not. Oh, we'll give it a go. Nope. That's fine. And set position. There we go. Go to the route. Request the route. Uh, it is... Oh, next page. Nope. That's here. Sorry. <laughs> uh, load that up. And that's nine pages of routing. Wow. Okay. Awesome. <laughs> going to take off from 2-4 left today. And we're going to be using the flight number of Qatari. Um, Qatar, what's that? Oh, uh, 740. Like so, that's to the 4 start off with. Okay, that's weird. 740. Activate and execute. Awesome. Perfect. That's the next page. Um, that's in. 
Uh, actually, how close is that to what we calculate in PFPX? Kind of close. Not that bad. And let's just hope we've got enough fuel f when we land because I've noticed on my last flight, the 787, um, the fuel used was different than what PFPX calculated. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> right. So, a bit of extra fuel will be nice. Okay. So, final reserve will be 1.9. Uh, we're going to be using cost index 200. We're going to be cruising to start. We're going to start our cruise at 350. Uh, but step size will be 2000. Um, that's all good. Let's see the tech climbs. There's quite a bit. Um, so at. Let's do departure and arrival first. Um, so depart 24 left on the Serbi, Serbi 2. There we go. Execute and then we go back to the legs page. Um, so at YZS, uh, which is this one, we're at flight level 370. Um, and then next climb at 7000N, which is this one at 390. Uh, stuck line and then at SD this ST that's I've never seen a waypoint which is just two letters long um, that's quite a lot until we get there ST at 410 now we're starting to get pretty high um, <laughs> And that is not it. That is not it. <laughs> and then at S Y Z S Y Z where um, S Y Z. There it is. Right, four three zero. And now that's it. So that's high. <laughs> that's high. That's okay. That's fine. Don't worry. Awesome. All right, let's go switch over the e gas displays. I can go to the checklist page. We'll tick those. Ladies and gentlemen, from the flight deck, this is your captain. Well, obviously, I We'd forgot like to. to our yeah. For today's flight. Of we're course. We're just finishing up our last minute paperwork, and once we've done that, we'll push back. We're estimating an on time departure. In the cabin today are some of our finest flight attendants who are there for <laughs> your comfort, but most of all for your safety. So we ask that you give them undivided attention whenever requested. Once again, thanks for doing the us. NDs displays. Sit back and relax, and I'll update you uh, on our progress uh, once we're up. Uh, terrain on this side and data. Now, yeah, I was just being a bit quiet there, just so you guys can listen to the um, the guy talk. <laughs> um, awesome. Thus, that page, we're gonna go pretty much full power. Um, we go back to the takeoff, and I go next page. Let's put the winds in quickly. Uh, so it's 2.50 at 9. Like so, and we go back to the index, perf, thus limit. Okay, go to the EFB, go to the performance page, and we copy FMS data. And we're doing a full takeoff, flaps 20, it's dry, calculate 96.1% on the N1. Um, that's awesome. Yeah, well, it's not going to do any D-rate, it's going to do pretty much full power. If I set 20, would that be more percentage? Uh, what about 22? Does it go higher when I put more in? It should go down, so it should be 40. Ooh. I need to find the, uh, the prime number just to get perfect power. Okay, that 30 will be fine for now. Um, so that's going to enter. Okay, so take off. Uh, previous page. Flats twenty. CG is twenty one. It says twenty in here, so I don't know if, if I double click that one, it will give me the correct um, one. If I just enter this CG twenty in here, I'm not sure if that's correct or not. 
but hey. Now it gives us 97.8 on the... Uh, yeah, that moment. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Uh, so, V1 and 147, VR, or rotate speed of 148, and V2, 157. Awesome. 157 is coming up here. Take a look outside. There's no... Have I not requested boarding? That may be a problem. I thought I requested it. Well, I'll skip, I'll skip the video anyway. Um, we're still not finished yet, so let's complete uh, what we're doing. Um, so we're starting a cruise at 350. Like so. Runway heading uh, of 25 right. I'm just, we're doing 25 right, aren't we? No, we're not. Um, at 24 left takeoff's fine, actually. It doesn't matter, 25 right or 24 left is absolutely fine. No, I'm completely wrong. 24 left is a landing runway. Um, bear with me. Did I put a 24 left in? I must have just put a random runway. Uh, we'll take off 25 right. Everything should be fine. Exactly the same. Everything should be good. Okay, sorry about that. <laughs> two four left landing runway. Two four right or two five right is the runways for takeoff. Sorry. Okay, that's that's all good now. I'll get rid of this. Um, actually, once we're in the air, I'll get rid of the vectors. I won't do that just yet. Um, let's go zoom in. Oh, whoa, what's the yellow lines? That's interesting. I've never seen the yellow lines in here. Cool. Okay, passing signs to on. We want to get the packs into auto. And... Yeah, I think that's good from the overhead. Pass signs are on, NCP is set up. No, it's not, it's 251. And that guy's talking again. Two five. Whoopsies, but too far there. Two five one. Our current heading is pretty much as is literally the same heading as the runway. Awesome. Okay. Awesome. So take us to two thousand. And good. I think I've got, I think I've got everything set up. Um, so that's all good. We we'll talk to that. C pre flight check is complete. Taxi and takeoff briefing. We'll push back to the left. We we'll taxi down Bravo. Uh, down to Bravo 1 to 25 right at the start of the runway. And there we get going. Cool. So, what I'm going to do is skip the video until baggage is actually <laughs> finished loading. I haven't even got here yet. So, I'll, I'll skip the video once that's all complete. Alright, welcome back. I have just finished the after cargo. Forward cargo is just about finished as well. I've closed the after cargo door. APU is starting up. As you can see, the door is open over there. You see the APU door. The green thing. So that's all open. Forward cargo is almost done, so we'll stay out here till that's finished. I've closed the, uh, the passenger door so we get rid of the jetway. And a AI aircraft is taxiing. You can hear its annoying engines. And where is it? Behind me? Is it A380? No. Don't know what that annoying noise is. It's over there, that Delta probably. Okay. So close L4. Ah, close that. It's lying. That annoying noise might be the APU, actually. Oh, wrong door. <laughs> Wrong door. Okay. Come back inside. System page. So, RPM is pretty much full. So, APU is running. Disconnect the external power and disconnect it there. We'll press uh, pushback. Prepare for pushback. And facing west. No, thank you. 
Oh yes, wow. I don't know what that Okay. Alright, let me show you the charts of this. Um it said end on taxiway C. I'm not sure if it's talking about this part of the sea or this sea. Because facing west is um uh things like yeah, facing west is pretty much what we're facing now, so I don't know what it's on about. Uh, I'm gonna wait and see see what it does. Unless it actually puts us in the actual taxiway, which is I doubt it, but who knows? We'll see. That jetway on our nose is close. Okay, fuel pump's coming on. Beacon, not yet. I'm just gonna wait for the uh, GSX to get going. There we go. Parking brakes released. Alright, it'll be interesting to see what it does. So, beacon lights coming on. That checklist is complete. We'll go to the system. Um, this, I don't know. Should we just go straight to flight control page? Okay, hydro is coming online. Engines are starting up. We watch the hydro come alive. We will, we will see them come alive. <laughs> We've got everything turned on, right? Yes. Okay. Okay, it's pushing us to the right, correct direction. I guess when it meant facing west. I, I don't know what it meant, really. <laughs> it's weird. I don't see hydrox coming up. Awesome. Still missing some of the other hydraulics. The center system. There we go. Now it's on. Engines are running. They're all up. And that caution light. I don't know why. I don't know why it doesn't turn off. But well, actually, the T gas is probably what's moaning out. Um, let's go see T E only. Awesome. Marshaller taking us around. Yeah, so coming into uh, Doha, we should be, I think, yeah, it's in the afternoon. Um, so we're departing at 3.45, well, hopefully we're departing at 3.45. It is now 3.45 now. Um, uh, so we're on time for the departure, pretty much. And we should be landing about f 5 or 4.45, so it's like 24 hour technically 24 hours, but flight time is 12, 14 hours. The time zone makes it 24 hours. You have to have a whole day in 14 hours. Parking brake set. Okay, AP can come off. Everything's all on. Awesome. Flight control check. Full right. Full left. All the way down, all the way up, right to the left, uh, right to the, and then to the left. Um, awesome, that works amazingly. Obviously, it does. I don't know why it wouldn't. Okay, so this is the trim to seven, six, seven is there. Oh no, no, jeez, seven is right there. Okay, awesome. We go back to the stat and then the checklist. Anti has not needed recalls, check nothing there, or to break set to RTO, did the flight control checks, and we're still waiting for the ground equipment to be clear. Ooh. Right, what I'm going to do is go to the terminal charts, copy, uh, complete, and let me find the. Uh, Departure we're doing. Left is clear. Right is clear. Uh, where is it? I might have just went right past it. There it is. Okay. Awesome. Right, left is clear, right is clear. 
before takeoff checklist is flaps. So we'll boost the parking brakes. Let's get going. Set flaps 20. There we go. We're not going into the back of the building. Oh no, okay, we're good. Right, the taxi light and the turn offs. Really get this going. We're heavy today. We're pretty much max takeoff in this aircraft. I'm not sure if Qatar will have their aircraft configured, um, so not a lot of people will go on the aircraft, so they can get much as much fuel uh, on the aircraft as possible. Okay. Ah, okay, we got the aircraft going now. Awesome. So yeah, we're gonna turn, keep them going pretty much into uh, Char Charlie's up here, and then we're gonna go past Charlie into Bravo, and uh, then we're gonna taxi down Bravo down to uh, two five right. So here's Charlie on the left now, um, and then Bravo is coming up here. We've got an aircraft taking off. Awesome. Okay. Aircraft should be up there. It's a delta. And watch where you're taxiing as well. That'd be nice. Fucking little tail view or something. It's not much of a long taxi, so I'm not going to skip the video. We've got probably like a 2,500 meter taxi till the uh, till the runway, and it looks like we're pretty much next to go, which is good. Okay, so accumulation is set, transition altitude should be set at 18,000 already. Yes, awesome. We can taxi a bit faster than. What we're allowed, probably. Don't think there's a item override. I think it really needs to read what flaps we're using for takeoff so that works. Um, it's quite annoying. That can go away. Awesome. Off goes the aircraft. We've got an aircraft coming to land as well. Uh, what is that? American 8020. Is that one the aircraft makes? It's more like a car. What makes that sound? Ooh, had a bit of a it's leaning on the right rudder there. So is this aircraft landing on two five it better be landing on two five left. Hope the AI uh, understands. Because I'm TA only, I can't see the aircraft. Um, yeah, it doesn't understand real world operations, sadly. So it's landing on 25 right. We normally land on 25 left, because it's uh, the landing runway, as you call it. And, ooh, don't see how that didn't bounce. That's a heavy landing. American, typical Americans. No, I'm joking. <laughs> okay. So that's so we've got like a five minute delay, but that's n that's not too bad. Okay, so we may actually just enter the runway here. At Foxtrot, apparently, which is what I'm going to do. Awesome. Uh, but I don't know if the aircraft's exited yet, so we're not going to take off until I actually take a look. Uh, so tax lights coming off, line lights are on, strobes coming on, everything's good for takeoff. It's just, it's just cleared, so I think we're good. Uh, I should look for any landing aircraft. No, there isn't any. Awesome. Okay, Project Fly is good to depart. Got 
going to find out how re how really um we're going to find out really how heavy this aircraft's going to be uh, as we spool up. So 50% on the end one. With the <laughs> auto throttles on before we hit Toga. That's looking good. Toga. Thrust is good. Airspeed's alive. Thrust is set. I've, re I've realised that the callouts in this aircraft are a bit too early than they actually are. 80 knots. Awesome. Powering down the runway. Just going to zoom out on this ND quickly. Rotate. Whoopsie, it's a bit too high there. Positive rate to climb, gear up. Gonna fly runner heading for now. Traffic, traffic. Ooh, I said it was a good for takeoff. We weren't. <laughs> now we are. Okay. Right, let's go direct to SLI. Bring the L of the VNAV on and autopilot. Actually, autopilot, yes, can come on. on. Autopilot. So, yeah, port back there. And oh my gosh, here comes a long flight. <laughs> Wow, this is going to be one of the, I think it is the longest flight on the channel. So, you better enjoy this. <laughs> Apparently we're to be flying runway heading for 3,000 feet before we turn around. Whoopsies. Okay, as soon as we pass 200 knots, I'll bring the flaps up. Actually, I'll set the flaps 15 now. Then once it passes like 205 or something, I'll bring the rest of the flaps up. And now the weather's not getting nice. Right, let's break it off. We set the sweep our seat belts to auto. That, that just turns them off. Okay, let's keep them on. Right, 205, flaps coming up. Awesome. Okay, now we're just getting more lift now, we can start accelerating, uh, awesome. And yeah, the flight plan on Navigraph charts, it's just scaring me, the route. Uh, it's a long route. <laughs> okay, starting to accelerate, we're starting to climb nicely, that's awesome. I have no idea when we're going to get out of these clouds. It says overcast at 3,000 feet. But we don't know how high or how big the clouds are. So, I hope you guys enjoyed coming out of Los Angeles. And oh, there it is. Awesome. Coming out of the clouds there. It's cloud surfing. I'll see you down in descent into Doha in 14 hours. I can't believe I'm saying that. 14 hours' time. Uh, yeah, so I'll see you in the descent coming into Doha. Around 20,000 feet. Enjoy the cinematics. And goodbye.
guys, welcome back to the descent down into Doha. We are 14 hours into the flight. Uh, in fact, 14 hours and 7 minutes. And as you can see on the ND, that's our approach. Uh, we're going to be landing on 1 6 the left, um, which is in line with this part of the, uh, the LNAV here. Uh, you can see the runway is just there. Um, so we're going to do a bit of a typical United Arab Emirates. I always have these. Uh, like slalom <laughs> approaches, as they call it. Um, not really, it's not really a slalom, but you get what I mean. At Dubai, they have a lot of these types of approaches, um, and at Doha, as you can see, obviously. Um, it's quite interesting, actually. So, we're going to fly that approach, and uh, once we get to Egnus, we should have a good view of the airport, actually. Uh, sadly, there's no air traffic, so it won't, it won't look as good, uh, but it'll be alright. I'll see if I can find a fix for that, uh, unless someone, uh, unless no one's actually found a fix. Um, transi transition altitude is 13,000 feet, I've already entered that in, as you can see. Uh, let's go back to that page. We get to the inner ref, we could be landing with flaps 30. Um, how long is the runway? Because we could go, yeah, let's go flaps 25. Let's go, let's be interesting today. Flaps 25. At the oh that I just broke that. <laughs> let's just go flaps. Let's go flaps thirty then. That's weird. Okay, it's fixed now. Awesome. Let me go flaps twenty five landing. Um, because why not? Because the terminal's right down at the end of the runway. The runway is almost five thousand meters long. Um, so flaps twenty five would be good for landing today. Um, also break one. Uh, I probably won't bring out any reverses though. Um, let's go and turn on the VSD as well. There we go. So we can see you're actually on profile nicely. Uh, like it's better to be under the profile than above. So that's all good. Now we're on profile. Uh, it looks like we've already caught. We're well, not caught, but we've got the glide slope active, uh, which is a bit crazy. Unless that's just with the VSD. No. I don't, I just don't see how we're on the glide slope though, because we've still got to like, descend even further to get round um, down there. Um, which would be crazy. Uh, so ILS starts at 3,000 feet. And it's probably going to be our go around altitude. The go around's actually 2,000, um, so we'll enter that in. Uh, probably then once you get to this waypoint. I don't know how to say it. Genot, I'd say. <laughs> That's the 2,000 feet, then you'll climb probably back okay, and do the arrival again. Um, so here we've got some altitude restrictions, above altitude restrictions, that is, um, and some speed restrictions. So at Varney, we've got max 220 knots, so I put 210. Um, Toban, we've got max 180, I put 175. Uh, and let's just go adjust these landing speeds. Um, so runway winds, is it strong winds? Nine knots, okay, we'll be good with a plus five wind correction. Um, that's all good. So we're doing a, f uh, two, a 140 speed arrival, which actually is already in there, which is awesome. Um, that would probably be like 160 or so, but I'll keep it there. I might be able to speed intervene by that time, um, so that doesn't have to matter that much. Uh, we just passed tra standard pressure. At, um, just passed transition altitude. The pressure is a one zero uh, one zero zero two actually. So we're gonna keep on scrolling. Okay, now you can see we're already off the glide slope. <laughs> awesome. We're just a bit, bit below on the VNAV here. Is there a way we can actually keep the VNAV display on or something? That's going to be a bit annoying for now. Uh, let's go and zoom in. Like so. Awesome. FMC message. Drag is required. You're slowing down, so you should be fine, aircraft. <laughs> okay. Do we see the airport from here? Yep, there it is. There's Doha. With no air traffic at all. 
Right, this time I should have loaded the scenery. Remember that time at um, Rome, the scenery we got, the scenery dot config file got slightly corrupt, let's say, <laughs> and the Rome wasn't activated for some reason. Yeah, so you can see down here. This is our little flight plan. I did skip a bit of waypoints. Some waypoints made us go out here in the back end, um, which I thought was a bit inefficient. So we go straight to Bayan from Belan. And uh, now I'm going to. Oh, got no right turn coming up now. And then it was spin around to come back into Doha. So now we should be turning straight towards it. Look at that sun glare on the, on the seat there. Awesome. Passing 10,000 feet. Let's go get the landing lights on along with the turn offs. And yeah, I forgot to say, um, pretty much it's been like around 24 hours, like in terms of time, if that makes any sense. Um, <laughs> I know it's a 14 hour flight, but it's actually been 24 hours. Uh, in terms of um, UTC time, which is crazy. And also, uh, not UTC time, sorry. So, once we left from Los Angeles, it's technically been a day to Doha. It's kind of confusing, but hey, I hope you guys understand. Um, there was an aircraft coming into the city uh, airport, which is fine. We're not going to worry about any air traffic on <laughs> Doha today. Um, yeah. And also, we never saw any night time. That also makes any sense. We flew so north that there was no night. <laughs> um, so the passengers in the back, well, it's just a bit, it's going to get really jet lagged because it's pretty much been the day for 14 hours. Well, they've been at LA for like another 10 hours of the day, so 24 hours of in the day, and it's, yeah, so I feel sorry for the passengers and myself as the captain. <laughs> okay, so aircraft's gonna slow down a bit more now because it needs to catch up the speed of 210. Uh, the, I the throttles are going idle. Um, as soon as we finish the turn, we should be able to just uh, slow down a bit more. You can see we, we are decelerating. So look at oh not down that uh, down here. Where they flat limit. on the on the dash nine variant. There are flat limits up there, but for some reason they're not down here. What is that? Ooh, interesting. What is that? That makes no sense to me. <laughs> uh, right, flat limit. So flats one. Well, I was gonna go straight to flats five, which is two thirty. So when I can do that, um, I'll set flats five. Probably be when we get a bit closer to Avani. That. I've never been to Doha in real life, but it's quite interesting. There's the main skyscraper part of the city, uh, the wealthier part, oh. and uh, then we've got all housing estates and everything. Um, are these like hotels or something? Because, like, this bit here is actually quite cool. <laughs> like, private islands or something. Okay, that looks very weird. Um, it's part of the <laughs> go-around. It looks extremely weird, actually. Unusual. Okay. There may be not any air traffic here at Doha because, like, there's no air traffic routes, let's say. Um, but we do have our traffic live, so... I want to see that, but I don't want. I want to see why that wouldn't work. Um, it's really unusual. I need to actually fix it instead of just moaning about it. Um, okay, let's go and zoom in on that. We did forget to set up the checklist. With the, that's all good. We've done all that. Uh, we actually need set minimums. So let's do that quickly. Um, which they are two thirteen. Set. Okay. I would probably, I don't know, I don't know if I bring this up or not. 
This is still really confusing to me. <laughs> I'll probably have like that open and then like still look down there. <laughs> Fast. So yeah. Okay, let's zoom in. And yeah, so I don't know if it's got any speed restrictions on the star and, and these charts, sorry. Doesn't look like they have this brightness and dim thing doesn't work at all. Um, which is kind of annoying. FMC message, drag is required. Yeah, let's just go bring out flats five and speed brakes are out. Awesome. So arm the speed brakes. Flaps are set. Let's go and speed into the. Oh, not that. Whoopsies. Speed into being this. We're going to flats 5. Debug speed. And when can we set flats 15? Or, yeah, flats 15. 215 knots. So we can set flats 15. The slower, the slower we are, the easier it is to uh, line up the approach. Um, so that's good. I'm going to arm the approach now. And you can see the glide slope's actually coming back into us now, which is nice. We're slowing down nicely, which is good. And there's the airport over there. I can't, can't properly define the runways yet. Um, so we should be able to do it soon. It still says drag required, but I don't think so. FMC. Okay. So 175 we'll go for. And we should be good from there. It's going to stay at this speed for a while. Awesome. So there's anything I need to look out for. The go round actually is 4,000 feet. I've just read the actual missed approach um, thing. Yeah, so the go round's at 4,000 feet. Uh, and then you come back to tow van for 4,000 feet. The initial altitude is 2,000 for go round, but then you set to 4,000 feet after that. Um, we should be getting a left turn now. We should be. There we go. On the localizer and the glide slope. Awesome. Great. So heading set. I'll bring this up to 4,000. Yeah, like I said, we just overshot that a bit. It's the way the quality wings uh, things work. It's a bit stupid. Because it actually has to go to the waypoint in turn. But I actually think real world aircraft, they just turn at the curve and not actually go to the waypoint and then turn. It's a bit stupid. So I have the runway in sight. I'm not sure how it's going to come up come up in video, but I have the runway in sight, so which is good. So on the localizer and the gla uh, and the glass. And we're still at a speed of 175, which is fine. Okay. So I think landing altitude is actually 55 feet. Um, or 13 feet, which one is it? Yeah, it's like, it says touchdown at 55 feet. And then runways at 13 feet, unless that doesn't mean touchdown. Well, I don't know what T TCH means. But hey, yeah, pretty much what that altitude is is our it's pretty much the runway altitude because it's so close to the uh, sea level. That building is a bit weird. <laughs> I'm assuming that's like real life. Oh, the airport just got reloaded somehow. All right. So yeah, I'm not, I don't think I could bring out any reverses. Or Break 1 will just do, really, with the speed brakes. And, because uh, it's really f almost 5,000 meters long. Right, let's go bring the next set of flaps. And bring the speed down to flaps 20 debug speed. And 
as soon as we pass 2,000 feet, 2,000 feet will bring the gear down. Nice. Everything's going well. That's a good thing. Okay, let's go get gear down. Right, gear is uh, almost down. Come on. Gear is down in green. Flaps 25, and that is our landing flaps. Awesome. So, speed of 140 is our approach speed. So, we'll enter that in. So, auto autopilot disconnected. My aircraft it looks like we've got three whites and one red, so we are we are a bit high, but we're on the glide slope, but actually oh, under the glide slope. So unless that just looks weird from the different, yeah, it's actually two two white, two red. But from the distance, it looks like three white, one red. Bit weird. We're passing 1,000 feet. 1, so the winds are nice. They're not too bad. Chin up a bit. We're getting a bit low now. We're getting three reds. There we go. Right, get back on those pappies there. They should be on. I don't know why an auto, like, it hasn't turned them on. It's really weird. Seatbelt signs, like, they should come, like, on auto, they should come on passing 10,000 feet. Um, so, quality wings need to fix that. 500. Alrighty. Approaching minimums. 400. Oh hello, that's weird. Three hundred approaching minimums. Minimums. Continue. Two hundred. One hundred. It's fine if we go a bit above 50, the glass slope here. Forty. Thirty. Twenty. Ten. Out of throttle. Touchdown. Slowly bring the nose down. And perfection. Awesome. So the aircraft slowly uh, decelerating. And yeah, our terminal's all the way over there, so. Auto brake can come off. Just keep, just use. Speed brakes just help us slow us down a bit. Keep going down here. And I'll turn off the VSD. And yeah, so come off in the next exit, that'll be all good. Awesome. So, flight directors, auto throttle, APU. Here's the exit. Trying to slow down a bit, actually. Awesome. So the real world aircraft parked just behind the terminal, so I'm going to do that as well. So taxi, strobes, and landing lights clear up. Awesome. Flaps coming up. Uh, T8 only. And what is these gates called? B4. Okay. We've, we have requested B4. 
So we keep on taxi down here, uh, down to Echo. AP's running, nice. And yeah, we can see GSX over there, awesome. Okay, anything else we have to clear up before we park up? No. So Project Flight told us that a landing rate of minus 235. And in we go. Awesome. There's car traffic here, but no air traffic. Um, so I can't wait for Taxi to get to release a, an update for this airport so we can actually get some traffic down here. Uh, so lights are coming off. And pretty much slow down the aircraft so we can just come in this turn nicely. Like so. Perfect. Actually, we're a bit. Let's just come out here there and stir down the aircraft like so. Okay, and silly bring it in. And stop. Parking brake is set. Engines are shutting down. Seabelt sign's coming off. Beacon light's coming off. Which jetway comes over that one? Okay. Well, we request deboarding. Window heats are coming off. We can get rid of the IRSs. We're doing a full shutdown because this aircraft's on a long flight. Um, Hydraulics coming off. Fuel pumps, packs, and awesome. T gas can come off now as well. To standby. Right. Open up the doors page. If I can find it, there we go, and we'll close some doors. Open up some doors, like so. Awesome. So I hope you guys enjoyed the flight. It was a uh, 14. Oh no, I just missed the flight time there. Whoopsies. 14 hours or so. Four, 14 and a half hours. Let's just say. Um, that was a long flight. Wow, I parked a bit too far over there. <laughs> GSX lied to me. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the flight. I'll see you in the next one. And goodbye.